Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, we have a major issue. There is crime afoot. What do you say? Robot, you'd better go with her. I'll contact Dennis. That's the one thing you shouldn't do in an emergency. Contact Dennis. He is an emergency. <sighs> Let's go, Robot. I'm on your tail, Liv. Why did we stop? This way, Rohat, around Dennis's house. Yeah, okay, we can turn up here. No? Okay, go. Cool. Oh. Dennis, I see you got the call. Liv, Robohat, Tamar just called. What's this about a criminal commander? Shh, it's getting dark, so it's hard to see, but they should be close. If we get too close, we might get hit by a stray round. Liv, it's like sunset, it's not that dark. All right, take out your robo. You got it. Go forth, Ray Mark Three. Stop! Now I know who's there. Live in Rumblehead. Who, who said that? I too can't tell who's talking without their big portrait. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull here? Eddie, what are you doing here? We thought you were a cr cr criminal bear. Uh, I mean, a criminal commander. Liv, were you the one who came up with this little plan? Ah, uh, what's going on? Liv, d did you know it was Eddie? Is that why you told Robo had to go after him? Um, maybe. But why? Dennis, I can explain everything. Liv really wants me to beat Eddie up. Not that she hates Eddie. No, it's because... She wants to prove that she can stand on her own. And since she can't stand on her own, she has to use me as proxy. Eddie used to be her proxy until he started standing on his own. Yeah. So I'm the, the new guy, and, well, she's got to prove me against him. If I didn't do this, Eddie would never have shown up and fought Robohat. I wanted him to see what Robohat is capable of. And that if Robo and I were to team up, we'd be just as good as Eddie and I were. Liv, you made Robo get a special license just to work out our family problems? Uh, don't you think that's extremely unfair to him? Well, I mean, I did want to be a police officer, so this is just kind of like, you know, just part of my career path anyway, right? I didn't, I didn't do that just for selfish reasons. I wanted to help him. Robo loves diving, so. And I was going to tell him all about it on my own time. F family problems! <laughs> Dennis, good way to join in. What exactly are you hiding from us, Liv? Oh, Dennis, you seem to think she has, like, a kid somewhere. De Dennis, calm down. I can't believe you haven't even told Robot and Dennis. Especially Dennis. Fine, I'll spill the beans. I'm a part of the IPC, the International Police Corps. After the Robo Cup, I went overseas to train. That's not the entire story. The truth is that I wanted an IPC license, though Liv knew that. I don't understand. The IPC hunts international criminals. So what's this have to do with your family problems? Dennis, would you shut up? He's getting there! I had to join the IPC so I could move freely between borders. I was after a particular man, see? Who? You, Dennis, it was you all along, you idiot. The whole story starts seven years ago when our father was working for the police squad. Our mother had passed away when Liv was born, but the three of us were pretty happy together. Our father decided to take us on a vacation overseas. The hotel we were staying at was a target for robo-terrorists. Now you've heard of them! <laughs> no, you haven't. They're commanders who pilot their robos from long distances and wreck all kinds of havoc. The World Science Committee was holding a convention there. It was just our luck that they were a robo-terrorist target. Mm. In order to protect Liv and me, our father used his robo to fight the terrorists. He was extremely skilled and fought bravely. We thought we'd be able to get out of the hotel in one piece. But we were wrong. The last robo that they deployed was so powerful it must have been commanded by the leader. I was still young, but even I could tell our father was no match. I had never seen anything like that illegal robo. 
Was it Rahu? Our father knew the danger we were in and used himself as a shield to get us out. I remember that I was carrying Liv in my arms as we ran out. It was then that I turned around and saw the robo firing a shot through my father's chest. That's the moment our mission became clear. Rid the world of criminal commanders. And we'd find the commander who took our father away from us. After my father died, I couldn't dive anymore. I guess I was just too traumatized. I went to lots of hospitals, but none of them could do anything to help me. That's why I went into support. I figured that we'd join the police squad together as a team. So that's why you fought as a team. You had a clear goal. <laughs> that kind of simplifies things, Dennis. Yeah, but after we won the cup, Mr. Jerkface over here went overseas and left me alone. We'd beaten through so much together, and then he suddenly tells me to quit, but I didn't give up. Wait a minute. Is that why you chose Robohat to join us? To replace your brother? So it was your plan all along for him to get a special license? Dennis, you're catching up. I'm proud of you. That's right. Look, I told you I'd tell you in my own time. That's just wrong, Liv. How long have we known each other anyway? Don't you trust us by now? How can you be so selfish? How do you think Robohat feels? Don't... Don't you think it was wrong for her to keep us in the dark room head? Um, okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> what was she keeping me in the dark for? I mean, uh, not for, but, uh... What am I being kept in the dark from? That I'm the re her, like, emotional replacement of her brother? Um, because if you'll recall, my stated career path was be a police officer. My stated goal in life was rid the world of criminal commanders. Um, so yes, she didn't outright say, hey, I want to use you in my quest of, you know, do-gooding or whatever, but it, my goals align. Um, the being the emotional replacement of her brother, that's a little eh, but I also, I don't really care. Maybe I should, but I mean, that's, you know, it is an issue. But it doesn't involve me, so I don't care. You're too nice, Robohat. I just don't understand you, Liv. I think Dennis is more sad that he's been left out. I think it's him, not me. And he's trying to project his own... No. <laughs> You're so insensitive! Dennis! Dennis, wait! Liv, you have to understand where I'm coming from. You can't dive, and I don't want you getting into any more danger. I can find Dad's killer myself. Don't talk down to me. Of course I knew it would be dangerous. If you didn't want me getting involved, then why didn't you say so before? Why did you let me become your support? Remember? The plan was to join the police squad and find Dad's killer together. Together! That's, uh... <clears throat> hold me. Hold it. I gotta call. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's from the police squad. Oh. There's a renegade commander close by. See ya. <laughs> Eddie! <laughs> oh, I gotta hurry up. Oh, oh, talk about close by. It's mom? Mom's a criminal commander? No. You, you have to help us. These people are out of control. You have nothing to worry about, ma'am. Please step aside. Thank you. You must be with the police squad. You know, I was uh, afraid I was going to watch my parents get gunned down right in front of me as I was helpless to stop them, and... Well, it'd get a little dark there, wouldn't it? Hmm. robo -at. It is you. And Liv, too. Well, what are you doing here? It's dangerous. Two criminals. Good. I'll take on both of you. Let's go! That's his famous battle cry. Let's go! That young man has some real skills. Imagine fighting two commanders at the same time. I've done that. I've done, I do that all the time, actually. It's my, my warm-up. Incredible. He really has improved since the last I saw him. And then he loses. Ah! We're just no match for this guy! And he's all alone! I'm right here. I could jump in. Anytime. Darn it! I let one escape! Someone has to go get the one that got away. Will you go, Robohat? You should be able to catch him. He must be tired of the fighting Eddie. 
you're right. Where I go? Came for me? No. No. I uh, chased you, and I've arrived. I did not come for you. Let's move on. But you're just a kid! You sure you want to go? Listen, this would be bad for you. I'm not going to get in trouble for this. Let's not go there. You got guts, kid, but I ain't going to show no mercy! And it's a stinger. Okay. Battle. Commence! This is an outdoors battle. Which means... I get my face shot up. You just got combo, kid. Put that block in my way. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Nice. Doing it. I'm the real hero. Maybe Eddie will be impressed after this and he'll say, I want to fight you. You've got such good moves. You see that? That's winning in style. Huh. He never stood a chance. Thanks for the 13 bucks, kid. <laughs> oh, this kid's been training. Notably, when I dive, my mind connects with my opponent. So when that criminal passed out, I blacked out until suddenly I woke up in the middle of town. Dennis is upset because of me. Are you upset at me too? No. I, I yes, my my sprite did kind of nod yes, but th th that's just my idle animation. You can't take that for fact. Live. Why don't you ever just take the quicker path? Live. Good work, Roboat. The police squad took him away. Looks like Liv's gone home. I'm sorry, Roboat. I thought Liv had told you. I don't know how you feel about Liv's views, but one day you'll make a decision, and I won't make you change it. It's just that I... Uh, I don't want Liv setting foot in this world. Now that both my parents are gone, she's... She's the only family I have left. Oh, I don't even know why I'm dumping all this on you. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, on to more interesting topics of conversation. Like Chris? I was impressed with your robo skills. I had fun watching you fight. Eddie, I'm not sure where this is going. I can't fight you since I'm on duty, but I'll make sure we do it at the Krebo Cup. Krebo Cup. Eddie, I'm really not happy where this is going, Eddie. I'm going to sleep at the police dorm tonight. I don't want to run into Liv again. Good night. Hey, good night. <laughs> Huh. And immediately sitting in my chair. What? You were the ones who got assaulted? What if something happened to you both? Robohead and I wouldn't have been left... Uh, well, Robohead and I would have been left alone. What would we have done? Now, now. We both made it home safely. That's all that really matters. It's all over. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm glad nothing serious happened. You know, that was a rare peak of Mom not wearing an uh, apron, right? She's usually just at home in an apron or whatever, and she's just like, la-di-da. But that was her not wearing an apron out there. Anyway, I was horrified to see Rohat there. I know you've got that license now. I don't want to see you in any serious trouble. Rohat will be fine. He'll be with Duncan and other police officers. Don't worry. That's right. Rohat isn't a child anymore. He won't do anything stupid. Dad, I hang out with Dennis on a daily basis. As long as he's with Eddie and not, let's say, Duncan, I'm sure he'll be fine. Dang! The big dunk on Duncan! Oh! Oh, Dad, stop being so negative about Duncan. Well, Duncan does suck. I mean, he's... You're right, he'll be fine. But please, Rohat, please don't do anything dangerous. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> I mean, she said it with such a plain face, but it, it sounded like she was just fed up with the conversation, to be honest. 
You gonna say anything new? Okay. Just go to sleep. You should go to sleep. Is there anything on the news? Not anymore. All right. Anything to follow up? Don't just say go to bed. You shouldn't worry, Mom. Uh. I'll worry, Mom, as much as I want. You're not the boss of me. I'm going to sleep because I want to, not because I've been told to. And now I'm going to use my change matic No one ever tells me to do that. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Hmm. I'm half tempted to just stop right now. Oh, because I don't know what's happening next. It is the start of a new day, so I'm going to stop now. Alright, see you next time.